we're here at Subject Matter in Lexington, and look who's with me. It's Katie and Max. Hello. Max, say hi. We're going shopping. We've just seen the Grinch. <gasps> oh boy. And here we are inside and right in the front door. What do we have but a world of pixies and fairies and elves. How adorable. So I'm going to let you guys look here with me and enjoy. As you can imagine, they were all pretty much retail price. This little guy, I loved him. If you guys follow the channel, you saw him in a sale. Um, see, he was $24. And I thought, well, I'm just going to bring him to you guys. And I started him at $24, and that's what he brought. So, um, if that tells you anything, you know, that's why I didn't go up ahead and pick up the $30, $40 ones. Just wasn't sure that the market was quite there for those. Look at his big mouse ears back there. Adorable. Oh, look at him. He is mad. Here's some beautiful little ladies. Angels mixed in with the pixies. And then right over here, we have a full drink set. A tea set, maybe? Although the teapot doesn't really have a lid. Um... A little blow mold Santa and then I zero in on these guys oh my gosh they're so beautiful and oh that there's the price on the set that's $75 but the bookends oh my goodness you guys are they fantastic or what 125 for the set though. Goodness. Sometimes I like to play this game. If I could pick any of that stuff to take home in that particular section, I think it would have been the bookends. Gotta love them. And then they, I love how they did the blow molds here. Isn't that a great arrangement? Looked really good right there in the middle of the store like that. And it's not really booths. They, they have more of a vignette kind of set up in here. They don't really look like booths. And so I, I quite enjoy that. And then look at this beautiful chair. You can see Katie and Max over there in the background trying to stay entertained. But look at that chair. They just featured it on Instagram. You might want to follow Subject Matter Lexington um, and see what they post on their Instagram page. But, you know, see a lot of, of the big chairs like that, but this one was spectacular. $7.99. Goodness. But, I mean, it is the prettiest one I've ever seen. Yes, I and around the corner here, big gorgeous uh, brass bird display. Don't know who the designer is on this one, on this piece. Um, but there's your price, $2.99. So, not cheap. I love, I, I really got excited about this, this brass, well, it's bigger than a brass box, a display cabinet. But, again, a little more than I needed to pay for that. And then, I'm loving the white tree, but <laughs> I couldn't help but kind of giggle at the lack of decoration there. I say maybe either leave it empty or put a few more balls on there, folks. <laughs> I 
great boho shelving unit there with the macrame owl. Everybody needs one of those. And I do love the decanters. Green one doesn't have a stopper though. They don't really hardly have any value without the stopper. Just in case you guys were wondering. All the value is in the stopper just about. Beautiful display of the art pieces. And then of course the swung vases here. And I really think those are still there from the last, my last visit. The, the three Amberina ones. Doesn't make them any less pretty though. <laughs> so I had to sneak a peek there. They're like $68, $78. So just on that borderline. set of culver glasses up there with the gold um, overlay. And I really, I really like this piece of pottery, actually. I kind of wish I had picked that up, went ahead and brought that home with me. I think it was like 20, yeah, $22. And I just liked, like the way that looks. Sometimes you just got to go with your gut and trust what you like. I kept thinking, there's the glasses again. That's a pretty set. You'll see a prettier one here in a few minutes. I was just going to say, um, I kept expecting to find something else, you know, so I didn't pick up um, some of those things. And then Max got tired and we didn't really go back to do a, a second loop. A lot of times, it's a good tip, a lot of times when you're in a place like this, you need to go through more than once. Things look different on the second time through. There's some cute little salt and pepper shakers in this, in this booth. The little birds are sitting on a nest there with their little eggs underneath them, so I thought that was cute. But um, I think they're contemporary. <laughs> of course, the ever popular 70s owl motif. Little googly eyes owls. We see those quite a bit. Ooh, the Dalmatian. He's fancy. He's life-size. And then I see these... Um, oh, these little turtles are cute. Candlestick holders. But then I spot these brass terrariums. And they were only... Only said $12 a piece. And I was like, oh, I think I might need to get these. But when I went back, I put my camera down, went back to look at them. They don't have any bottoms. <laughs> They're more like um, a cloche, right? So I did end up leaving those there. Just not sure without the bottom that, that they'd be desirable. In this little boho booth, you can't can't go without seeing a butterfly or two. So there's our butterfly sighting for the day. Oh yeah, I'll be happy to. And of course, it was just the right time of year, right? That Black Friday or Thanksgiving weekend. Um, and everybody had their Christmas stuff out. So that was fun to see all the pixies and carolers and angels and all those, all those things. Made me happy. More pixies. He's really contemplating that clock there. But 
you know, it's a planter. Planters are usually a tough sell. These mannequins are all dressed up. They are ready. I thought that old candy cane cutout was fun to look at. Uh, there's some Fisher Price, the farm animals. Look at that price tag. You guys, I bet you, guys, are, if you're like me, you've had two or three of those sets growing up. That one was not in very good shape, though. And then this guy, I'm embarrassed to say, had me fooled. <laughs> I um, picked him up and was looking at him. I was like, oh, he's really neat. He's a music box. But then, take a look at the tag, folks. Dun dun dun, Cracker Barrel. <laughs> oh, so yeah, I had left him there on the shelf. <laughs> Well, it happens to all of us sometimes, right? We get fooled. This booth had a lot of those mannequins. They look fantastic. A little home co set of elves right here. But nineteen fifty for the set. That is plenty retail enough. Do not want to be picking those up. Pretty little Stife bunny. Stife is always so awesome to see at uh, Christmas time. Hi, Max. Max is entertaining himself while Yaya is shopping. This booth had a lot of pretty things. Look at that beautiful amber and pulley. The flame stopper. Super desirable. And then I decided there's so much to see, I needed to just start way over on the left and pan all the way down that shelf. I did not want to risk m missing anything. I thought about those owls for a hot second, but they were just hand-painted on a rock. They were cute, though. See? <laughs> but I did pass on those. It's another one of those things on the second trip through, I probably would have picked those up. <laughs> Here's my uh, kind of addiction to blue. Anything blue I always have to pick up. I love those glasses. And then, oh, my favorite thing I think that we saw this, this day, this shopping trip, was this set. Look how fantastic. Mushrooms. Y'all, this is Culver. If you'll remember back, I had we got Culver glasses that were Harlequin with, with the gold like that. And they sold quickly for a couple hundred dollars. This, this set right here, there's the martini pitcher, the mushrooms, and then I think either four or five of the lowball glasses. $95. Oh, I just could not make pull the trigger on that one. Mm -hmm. You guys tell me, what would you have done? Would you have bought it or left it? Pretty and poly here. Much easier decision. $75. That's retail all the way. And of course, the poly bottle was retail priced as well at what did that say maybe 175 so pretty to look at and then lastly here there's a pretty and pulley uh, green snifter 
but had two Lucite candles. Of course, they're not quite as popular as they were, or they're not as on trend as they were. So this is probably more than enough to pay for those. It's $20 for the blue. So yeah, but the blue, you know, was tempting. You know how I am with blue. Again, that might have gone in my cart on a second trip through. And as we circle around, we've got one more cute pixie Santa display here. Spaghetti Santa. He's awesome. He looks beautiful. But he's like $42, I think. Here's Mr. Pixie, all dressed out in red on his little planter. Love the white pixie elf guy. He was awesome. I like the size of those white ones. They're a little bigger. And then let's see here. A cute little elf shoe planter. It's very festive looking with all the red, white, and green. And then, of course, we have to see every pixie, y'all. Look at this little white guy. And then I love this one because he's got a blue outfit on. That's different. It's a red hat, but a blue outfit. And I love the cute little bug. I love the little bugs. You just don't see them very often at all. And look at this guy. He is all laid back in his pink little smock. But they are all priced to stay. <laughs> There's a Tonala or Tonala owl. Love him. He had damage actually is why we left him. There's a little magnetic kissing Asian couple. And just for good measure, let's have another pixie or two <laughs> sighting. I just want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today on one of my favorite shopping trips to make in Lexington, The Subject Matter. And um, we'll bring you back whenever we can. Look at these beautiful trees we're going to end on here. If you like this video, hit the like button. It helps us a lot and it doesn't cost you a thing. Also, if you want to see more like this, hit the subscribe button. Here's a few pictures of Max. Mary Beth had a visit with Max. And he's growing so fast. Again, thank you everyone for joining us. And we hope you stay tuned to see what Fatbird finds next. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.